today, I want to talk about my favorite fish, sea bass. Yeah, love them. I love them. Let's talk all things sea bass today. So most people, what a chair. Okay, so most people think that sea bass, it's just got like a bad rap, right? And the reason is, is because it's little and there's a lot of them. Dude, I can't get enough of them. Not the, not the little ones, but like big sea bass. I freaking love fishing for them. Love catching them and absolutely by far my favorite eating fish in the sea. No questions asked. We do a lot of sea bass fishing on my boat. I love fishing sea bass. And there's a number of different ways that you can do it, which makes it so freaking cool. But my favorite way by far is jigging them. I love jigging sea bass. By far one of my favorite ways. A lot of people use bait and that's not a problem. Nothing wrong with that. But I love to jig for them because then you're taking a species that is very easy to catch and you're making it a little bit more difficult you're putting a skill into it you're putting a sport into it bait fishing yeah throw some bait on a hook drop it down you're going to catch a million of them but jigging them you're going to catch bigger ones and it's a little bit more involved let's check it out oh boy that one maybe that one This is all sharks. Nope, it was the bottom one. Yeah, I'm totally stuck. Okay, so this is your sea bass rig. So I pre-make these. It's pretty simple. This is gonna catch fish. Yes, there's a million different ways that you could make these. I know, I get it. Everybody's got a way. You could buy them pre-rigged. You could make them. You could pretty much, dude, you could try, drop a carrot with a piece of squid on it with a hook and you're gonna catch them. Swivel, line. I do these little glow beads because I just think they're cool. Do they really work? I have no idea, right? I do these little squid skirts. You don't need to do these. You could do them with just a hook. Right, so it could just be just a hook, and there could be no skirt, no nothing, and then you're gonna put a little strip of squid on here, and then I do a double, so there's two hooks, two squids, and then I do a dropper. Right, so this comes down, this is where my weight attaches. I always do this as a breakaway, so this is a lighter line that this just breaks away before my main rig breaks. So if they bring me into the rocks or anything, I'll lose the sinker before I lose the rig. Everybody can fish these. You can fish them on the boat, you can fish them from the beach, you can fish them from the rocks, the jetty, anywhere. These will catch sea bass, no questions asked. So, a couple of lures, right, or jigs that I specifically use all the time. There are some fancy jigs out there to catch sea bass, or bottom fish, or you know what I mean, whatever. There's some fancy jigs. Tuna, real fancy. And you can go anywhere from like $5 a jig, upwards of like $50 a jig, $100 a jig, right? Crazy prices for jigs. This will catch 99.9% .9 of everything that those catch. It's called the diamond jig. This stupid looking thing catches more fish and more species and more variety than anything else. This might be the tried and true best fishing lure from a boat that's ever been created. I think more fish have been landed on this particular jig than anything else. Don't quote me on that, but these things are awesome. Speckled ones, like little mackerels, right? Whatever you want, it's a shiny piece of metal with a hook on the end of it. That's all it is. And they are awesome. They just catch. These will catch sea bass nonstop. No questions asked. They also 
will catch, ironically, a sea bass or a scup that's this big will bite it, but also a 300 pound tuna will also bite this. And they're cheap. I buy them on eBay. I buy them, you know what I mean? Uh, as cheap as I can get them in stores, uh, they're cheap. Like, I get it. I just like blew up the diamond jig like it's the greatest thing in the world. That's gonna catch all these fish, which it does. But at the same point, it's like, you know, Magic Swimmer is a pretty good lure, but once I catch five fish on the Magic Swimmer, I just want to catch something else on a different one. It's just cool, you know what I mean? To trick a fish on a number of different kinds of lures. So diamond jigs are great, they're just boring. You know, I don't know, they're just boring. And these are just my particular favorites and what I run on my boat, right? Like if you guys have any suggestions at all on lures that you like to catch sea bass for or jigs that you really do well with, please drop them down below and let me know because I absolutely love to test these things out. This fancy dancy looking thing is the Daiwa. I believe this is the Rock Rover. I want to say this is the Rock Rover. If I'm wrong, I'm going to drop a link down below and I'll and I'll say that I was wrong or I'll post it somewhere in here. But this, I believe, is the Rock Rover. This thing is just cool looking. I don't know why. I just love this stupid thing. So it's basically just a jig, right? And they're heavy. This is 120 grams, but they're pretty heavy. They come with like this squid skirt, right? Double hooked, right? And you can rig them however you want. So you could rig this down below or right off the nose, and then you could and then you could clip your line onto the back. You could clip your line below it. You could clip your line here. This is how I particularly like to do it. I clip and you could clip it off the back if you want. I really like to just clip it right here so that this is getting sent down. And then as this is getting sent down, it sits flat on the ground. Then this will flow in the current. They're biting this, obviously. But from there, when you're jigging them and you're working this up and down on the ground, this is what's flowing in the background. And they just come up and they come, they come up and they nail this thing. What's crazy is you actually can catch two on one. Right? I've had two hit the same thing once it's like once they're super aggressive. Sea bass are super aggressive. Like ridiculously aggressive. And it is crazy how hard they will hit. They don't give you the greatest fight because they only weigh like, you know, a couple pounds at, uh, you know, the big ones, but they are super aggressive and they feed aggressively in schools. They are very competitive with how they, how they, how they eat. How do I know? Because if you can catch two fish on one squid, that means one's hooked and the other one is still trying to bite it, right? So these things are great. I really love the pink and the yellow combination. I just think it's a high vis color. You know, you want to get the attention, especially as you go deeper and deeper. We fish roughly in like 30 to 50 feet of water. That's where our sweet spot is and what we like the kind of structure that we have in Rhode Island. So like that's where we're fishing constantly It's like 30 to 50. But, you know, I've caught them in 60, 70, 80, 90. We've been shark fishing and caught them in 150, 200 feet of water before. So like they're just about anywhere. But the deeper you go, the less light that's there. So that's where I think the high viz kind of comes into play. Um, so I really like the, the yellow and white and pink, which is a cool color. And then I really like the gold. Just, it looks like a diamond jig. You know what I mean? It's a diamond jig with this like trailer thing onto it. I just envision this thing free flowing in the current, you know, as the, as it's going with the current or as I'm reeling it back with the current, I can feel this thing kind of free flowing back and you'll know as soon as it gets picked up, but they're just a really, really cool, uh, jig to try. Um, not the strongest line, like, you know what I mean? And we do break these off, and if you get hit with a bluefish, good luck. The Daiwa Rock Rover, and I just buy a bunch of these, like, these jigs. They also come in this red color, which is kind of cool. I haven't really found this, but all of these are at 120 grams. So whenever I bought these, that's what I was into. Just another option. Okay, this last jig is by far my favorite jig for, like, anything. Little little fish but it's like my favorite jig to jig off of a boat for sea bass by far absolutely sea bass but i have caught blackfish on them i have caught fluke on them i have caught scup on them all kinds of like crazy bycatch fish but sea bass specific this jig is by far my favorite the squino
It's just awesome to say the squino. The squino? The squino. 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 The squino. Squino. I say it every time that I get on the boat. I'm like, yo, let's throw the squinos on. Jig them up. Jig them up. This hoagie squino jig. This thing is awesome. It's so awesome. I just love it. Look at the shape of it. It's a minnow on one side and a squid on the other. I mean, <laughs> dude, like if I was a fish and I saw a fish swimming by and then a squid swimming by, I mean, dude, that's two of my favorite meals. I'm going to definitely eat that. But seriously, it's just cool. It's just a cool looking jig. I mean, yeah, do I think this is a marketing ploy? Yes, absolutely. It's not so much that there's a, there's a minnow on one side and a squid on the other that I care about. It's the weight. These things are heavy and they're little and they get smaller. So this is a small one. Just kidding, these are both the same size, Never mind. They're all 100 grams, but they're heavy. So they get down fast, they hit the current, right? And they still cut right through the current and they get down. And then when you work them, they're so little and easy. Like I just feel like it's the perfect size for not only the smaller sea bass, but also the bigger ones. Like it's like an easier meal. You know, it's not something that they have to gulp down like a giant diamond jig, which yeah, maybe that's what they go for. But this is like the perfect size. Like their mouth is like, when their mouths are open, it can easily inhale this. So it's like... I don't know. I just have the confidence in it like that it's it's going to be eaten every time. Uh, I rig these a couple of number of ways. I believe that they come with treble hooks, if I'm not mistaken, which is cool, but they hang up on everything. Um, if I fish them with trebles, I always upgrade the trebles to a little bit bigger. I think these are four, three, three yacht maybe. Don't quote me on that. I'll leave a link. But this is this is one with a treble. And then a lot of times, if it's like a heavy weed day, right? I just do these inline single hooks. They're pretty sweet. Inline singles. Makes it a little bit easier. Your, your hookups will definitely go down. But uh, you don't really have to worry about it. And plus, when the fish comes up, these are way safer and easier to de-hook than these trebles because when you catch one of these trebles in the corner of the mouth it is it's definitely i mean on a boat when it's moving and it's rocky like i don't really love trebles on a boat personally um love them surf casting hate them on a boat but these things just rock there's a number of different colors so there's this brown with this pink kind of sweet there's this more traditional squid looking one with white this might be glow this is glow so this one glows, which is awesome. And then this is just my personal favorite color. I love these fluorescent high-vis colors. Non-glow. Does this glow? Dude, I think this glows. I think this glows. I'm not 100%, but I think this is glowy. This color is awesome. This is just such a cool color. Love it. And they're just great. I just absolutely love fishing the squinto. This is by far my absolute number one favorite. These are kind of sweet. They're fun. They're cool to throw on. Like if the squino is just, you know, you're just having one of those days where you just can't catch anything but rocks, throw on a rock rover. Oh, wait, I have another hoagie that is awesome. I absolutely love these hoagies. They're more of like, mm, I would say that they're more of like, you know, the squino. These. These things. I forget what these are called. Ugh. What are they called? I have to look it up. I was right. Sand eel. Okay. Sand. I knew it was eel. Eel. Sand eel. So the sand eel jigs. These are pretty sweet too. Uh, they're just long. More of like a... I mean, we use them a lot for cod... And then uh, definitely for tuna, uh, they're cool for tuna, but you get the little ones, you know, like this is a pretty good size. This will definitely catch sea bass, no, no questions asked. But this is a cool lure as well. They come in a, a bunch of colors. I just let everybody learn on a diamond jig because they're cheap. Squinos are not cheap. 
I think that they are 11. Would you look at that? It's glow. I knew it. Okay, so this one's glow too. This one's glow. Is this one glow? Non-glow. This one's not. Oh yeah, because it's two different colors. Okay, so I like this color and I like this color. Not so much this color. But I like this one the best, then this one, then this one. They're all good. This is the best. I think that's pretty much it. Squid rigs first with strips of squid or chunks of squid. And then I go to my squid O or diamond jig, rock rover, I'll mess around with a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Drop it down in the comments below and let me know what you guys like to fish. Cause there's like a bajillion different kinds of jigs that you can go. If you go to any like good place, any good tackle store, they're gonna have like a million of them. But I'm gonna drop mine down below and let you guys know like these are all the ones that I do. Um, but let me know down below in the comments what you guys particularly like. Because these are my favorites, but I always love to try new, new things and see what I like. Um, and I can do a review on those. But I will also do another video on how to actually jig for sea bass and bottom fish. Um, I kind of want to do that one like on the boat and like do an actual like demonstration of like how I like to jig. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, do the whole nine. Um, but really let me know down below what you guys actually think of your jigs particularly so I can try them this year. Squino. Okay, bonus, I forgot this one as I was taking out sea bass jigs. These are freaking sweet too. The Shimano butterfly jigs. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. You just let them flutter on the way down and then like pop them up, let them flutter on the way down. You're slow pitch jigging these. These things are really badass too. So I forgot about these. Um, they're heavy. 160. How much is this? This is 120. This is 100. This is, I don't know how much this is. I have to weigh this. 171. So the diamond jig is definitely the heaviest. But this thing is really more for making as much noise as humanly possible. You want to bang them on the ground, bounce them, hit them, smacking them, just making a ton of clicking, just whacking. This thing should look absolutely beat to living hell after it's done. This is the exact same jig. It's just brand new. This is from just banging it around along the, the bottom so much. And basically you're just hitting it up and down. Right, letting it stop, float, hitting it up and down, stop, float, hitting it up and down, stop, float. <clears throat> These are really good for cutting vertical, right? It's a vertical jig straight up and down, whereas this is heavy for the flutter action that it needs to do. So as this flutters, I just think this is a little heavy for the fishing that I like to do with it because this isn't so much about beating it and like this is probably a $20 jig for all I know because it says Shimano on the side of it versus this is like a $5 jig and I can beat the living crap out of it and not have to worry about you know switching to a new one or losing it whereas with this you know I really want to work the action the way that it was designed to work and I think that this is a little bit too heavy for the line rod and species that I'm going after with these specifically. But I think they come in lighter ones. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. And those are pretty badass. Squinna's still number one though. No, no question.